Welcome back. Well, in continuing the theme of paying respects to courageous females that spearheaded the women's suffrage movement, the Department of Social Services and Urban Development, along with the Caribbean Women in Leadership, hosted a virtual panel last evening featuring various female members of parliament and senators. Two of the speakers for the government were a member of parliament for West End, Grand Bahama, and Bimini, Pakisha Parker Edgecombe, and Fox Hill MP Chanel Ferguson, who spoke about what suggestions they would give to encourage young women to enter frontline politics. I think we ought to believe in ourselves more and step forward more. And for those that step forward, the parties uh, that we have in place in the Bahamas have to be accepting of those persons who are stepping forward. I don't think that there is a lack of women, qualified women, offering themselves uh, for leadership rules. But somewhere along the line, it stopped. And I think that through legislation, law in my view just as we had to ensure that the rights of women to vote uh, was legislated there has to come a time in our history in which we too recommend petition and ensure that we have a certain amount of women that are running i suggested on another program earlier this week that even in our primary schools we should start the process of children voting for class presidents, class secretary, class treasurer, and then see them perform, see women, see girls perform, see girls growing up knowing that, yes, I can. I can stand with anybody. And young boys begin to know that, yes, a girl can lead me.